Natasha. I'm uh, a second year at NMIT, so I'm nearing my, I'm almost at my third year because I'm a January starter, so we're a little bit unusual in the timeline. Um, yeah, so I'm towards the end of level six, so I think I've got one more level six module and then I do my bachelor's project, which is kind of crazy, but I'm excited. <laughs> So I originally uh, tried a more traditional university, uh, it did not go fantastically well for me, which is why I'm not there anymore. Um, the sort of teaching style didn't mesh very well with me, like lecture theatres where you're one person in a room of 400 being sort of shouted at by a person standing at the front. Um, I shockingly don't find that conducive to learning, um, <laughs> yeah, um, but also like the the sort of uh, daily schedule of it, like I was working from 9 to 6 because the workload was so much and then I'd still have work in the evenings, I'd still have work during the weekends, um, it was just, it, it was so intense and it was so unaware of the possibility that I could, you know, have a life outside of trying to complete my engineering coursework, um, which didn't really lend itself to me making friends um, and things like that but um, yeah I was fortunate enough to get to do some trial days here at NMI and I think the, the, the biggest thing I noticed was within about the first half an hour I'd already had conversations with half of the people in the class like I, I knew these people already better than I did most of the people at the university I'd been at for two months, uh, three months, something like that um, and it, it was just immediately, it was this sense of like, I was part of a group rather than alone in a group. Um, yeah, so it, it's just a much more welcoming community. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to join in the January cohort. Um, and like the, the way the schedule is, it is set as nine five, but it means I get my, my evenings to myself. So like I do kickboxing, I've got into video gaming, like I have these evenings that I can spend in my own time, I can reset, I can relax, which means I come in the next day and I'm not exhausted because I haven't spent the entire evening still doing work. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's good, I like it. <laughs> this is actually like a really lovely town um, and the, like the city centre is really close by so a lot of us like sometimes will go out for lunch, um, there are some like really nice little small food places that we can go to which is always really lovely um like you've, you've got the market so close by as well um and like that this is a really great place to study because of the sort of um really personalized learning style because the classes are so much smaller than you get at a traditional university like you really get that interaction with your academics that you won't get elsewhere um it, I, I don't know why you'd go elsewhere. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things I see is sort of out of the box thinking or like creative thinking. Like because we're like we're all coming from really different backgrounds. So like some of us have A level maths and physics, like a classical sort of engineer, but you've got other people who have come from geography and English literature and psychology, um, or they've done art. Like that's their entire history is art and you think okay but how are they going to do engineering and then you actually like talk with them and you're like oh they actually know quite a lot more about practical engineering than I do like I've barely ever picked up a screwdriver before and this art student knows how to make sculptures that won't fall over um, but there's so much that there's so much engineering involved in in all these other subjects and it means that having Having these different perspectives, having these different viewpoints means that together we're all thinking in completely different ways on the same project, which means that we can all like cover all the different sides of it. I mean, uh, and, and, and my degree because of sort of the way that we're taught is, is integrated engineering rather than a sort of specialized form of engineering. It could in theory take me anywhere. Um, I personally have an interest in sort of control engineering and programming. Like I found I really enjoy that style of um, that style of engineering, so I'm sort of hoping to go into those areas. But like the, the biggest thing for me is I I want to be put in a place where 
there are problems and I'm there to solve them. Um, I'm there to sort of think it through, figure it out, um, do what I can. Maybe it's helpful, maybe it's not, but <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, yeah. To find out more about bursaries, head to nmites.ac.uk. Be part of it. <laughs>